Leaf, aka Delish, and Lily Black. All right, we're here at 1 a.m. Gallery, and today we're going to teach you guys how to do wash painting. You got it. All right, let's go. Okay, so to begin with, we've got a modified toy to our doggy key. It's my favorite. I love the doggy key, and we've got some detail already. We've got the eye, some plastic pieces, see on the back, some detail. But we want to bring this detail out more. And so we're going to use washes. What are washes? Washes are really thin paint, hence the name wash. It's like a wash of color. And really dark colors um, down in those cracks and crevices will make the detail show up. So we're going to use a dark color. I'm going to take some umber, just a little bit. And we're going to take like a drop. And we're using acrylic paint here? Yeah. It's not too expensive, nothing in, nothing too particular, but plenty of water. And the two colors, we have umber and... Umber and cerulean blue. It could be, it could be any blue. Let's see. Dun -dun. The camera's going to a little bit more brown, because I really want to show it. I love these details and all the come out. And when we're doing washes, I've got this cloth here to soak up the excess and also so I can wipe it off really quick. So if there's too much, I can wipe it off. Far from too much. It's actually a little thin. I'm going to make it a little bit darker so we can, even see, so we can see even more <clears throat> what we've got going on there. So this should kind of give you the look of something that's like oily, perhaps, or what's the uh, um, what's yeah. the mood here? Okay, if it were black, it would be oily. Instead, we're going for kind of dingy, but you can see, okay, it looks sort of flat. It's just kind of flat. Put some color in there. Some extra stuff. And it's just more organic looking. And we can see the edges. Well, Any uh, recommendation on the kind of brush that you would use? Big and cheap. See, this is a great place to save money. That's how I like my ladies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lukewarm and ready to pass out. So now you're the, giving it a little dab. Yeah, so. Before it looks, you know, when you put it on the, the, the first initial layer of wash, usually it's kind of dirty. So let that soak in a little bit and then dab it off somewhat. So also, if I'm really, really obsessed with a particular detail, I can take a slightly darker version of the wash. I'm going to put up a little bit more brown paint. There we go. A little bit of that wash color. I'm taking a finer brush, and what I'm going to do right here is going to run the brush down into the cracks. So this is making it darker. And what are these uh, panels that you have with the cross? Um, once again, patterns? this is uh, Plastruct Plastics. It's plastics for. Um, architects. And so if you look online for architecture models, you'll find Plastrux or your local art store, Pearl has it. Stuff for architects costs some money, but it is really cool. They have really, really cool stuff. So here we're darkening it, making it look more natural. Muddy, dirty, it's weathered. But you can really see the sort of grouting, I guess, in between each panel. And when you compare that to this right here, where there's no washing, it's a huge difference. Here, I'll do it one more time. So I'm gonna put that on, then I'm gonna wipe a little bit off, and then put it back just in the spots where I want it, go along the edges. Cool. I really like that.
Ta da! <laughs> All right. Is that is that informative enough, or shall we dig deeper? Yeah, dig deeper. I mean, what? Yeah, let's one. uh maybe one. try one more. One more. Okay. Sounds like a great idea. Let's do one more. So on the back here, we've got all kinds of different detail. And I'm going to use a really thick, dark wash because the detail is so deep. I want a really dark color. And I want that dark color to go very deeply into the detail. So I'm pushing the paint, pushing the paint into the detail. Now we can see that coming out. Are there any other colors you might recommend doing washes with? We use well, brown and blue today, but... Uh, brown and blue is going to work really good on a lot of stuff. Um, what can, it, What's the uh, paint that you had before you did the uh, wash layer? Oh, uh, 94. Uh, Montana 94 spray paint. And then a little bit of white dry brushed on. Okay. Of course, find out more about dry brushing. In the tutorial labeled, dry brushing. Um, a lot of people are going to use black and you kind of gravitate towards black, but you don't really have to. And once again, if you use black, you wind up with something that looks kind of oily. Um, and this is more um, naturalistic. I like it's been weathered. Does that bring out the detail? Hmm? Oh yeah. Yeah, that looks awesome. All right. Well, thanks for watching everybody.